And it also is a tax that will be affected by anyone who has a period, but also anyone who buys them. So what do you mean anyone who has a period? So you mean women and girls? So I, I just mean anyone who has a uterus. Not all women. We, uh, women and girls. Period. Well, no, not all no. women. Are gonna, no, I mean, you know, people who are postmenopausal, people, you know, women, women under the menstrual age. So women and girls. We're not saying people who have periods on my show. We're saying women and girls. Okay, well, I'll no, genuinely, I won't have you on the show if you're going to talk that nonsense. Men don't have periods, full stop. Women and girls. Okay, well, I think that's quite transphobic. But some, you think that's quite transphobic. Do you know any men who have periods, Laura? I, I do actually know quite a lot of trans activists. Do you know any so, men yeah. who have periods? I know, yes, I do. You do? I think trans men are I think they're men. lying to you, love. And, no, I, I, I don't agree with that. You don't um, agree with that. You think men, you think men who don't have uteruses, uh, and uh, you, you think men have periods, do you? Yes, because some men have uteruses. Some men have uteruses. How, how do those men have uteruses if they're not born women? If they identify as a man and yet they have a uterus, then mm -hmm. they're a man with a uterus. Well, you can identify with whatever you want, but you, only women and girls have periods, don't they? That's a biological okay. fact. 